Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Leo. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you for love, Leo. All right, what's the love messages for Leo? The sun card. All right, that's you. That's your ruler, uh, the sun. It looks like you are getting a lot of eyes on you, a lot of exposure. Maybe uh, via social media. Maybe you go out into the world. There's a lot of people who uh, are attracted to you. And you're looking really good some some of you are getting your body back in shape or you're really focusing on uh, physical fitness here um some of you could be pregnant um if you're not then you're just really focused on on health healthy living um vitality um it says that uh things are aligning for you or the universe has aligned things for you so that you can get the exposure you can get the uh the eyes on you you know you can get uh recognition here let's see what's going on for you leo in terms of love you're feeling really good and childlike and playful maybe you're engaging in playful um connections also maybe no strings attached two of swords and the five of swords okay um so it's like you don't know if somebody's being deceptive and playing mentals and mind games with you but you have suspicion of deception here or somebody masquerading and trying to get away with something. Maybe you even have suspicion of somebody just not being honest in terms of uh, telling you how they really feel. Um, maybe lying by omission or just not um, admitting. You know, they're not admitting how they feel. They're just uh, holding it in. And they also could just be uh, lying by keeping something, you know, out of the conversation. Um, there also could be somebody or something interjecting in your relationship, and that's how you feel right now. The two of swords. Uh, you feel like uh, it's a power struggle between you and your person, okay? Um, you just don't know. Well, you know why. Um, maybe it could be lack of cooperation, or somebody feels like it's lack of cooperation with you, and that you're, I don't know, uh, there could have been a, a big fight here, a fallout, a blow up, a breakup. Nobody won here because the both of you are hurt or are hurt or you didn't get what you wanted. You didn't get what you wanted. The other person didn't get what they wanted. So who won? Oh, let's see what card fell out. Oh, the seven of swords and the two, five equals seven. And then the seven of swords falls out. So it's like um, if you were thinking something, if you wanted it to, to come to light, it looks like it will. It looks like you already know or you have this knowing that somebody is masquerading like something isn't when it really is that, um, they aren't cheating or they aren't lying or they aren't being deceptive or they really don't feel that way when you already know that they do and that they are lying and that they are cheating. They're sneaking away. Um, with the Leo card, excuse me, I said with the Leo card here. Um, could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you're just dealing with somebody who feels like they have the power to do this, okay? You have the power to do this, to say this. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like you want clarity. And something's going to add up for you. You're going to see that um, this was going on or this is going on. At one point, you didn't. You, you're, so the Two of Swords, you're thinking was cloudy, fuzzy. Okay? Um, there was indecision here. There was holding out hope for the best. There was not making a decision about something. And then you're going to come back to it later. But it looks like you're going to get the clarity that you need, the Ace of Swords, because you're going to cut out the, the distractions or the distractions will be cut out for you. And you're going to see through. You're going to see through with the Ace of Swords. Yeah. You're going to have to make some judgment about this relationship. Are you in or are you out? Are you forgiving or are you not forgiving? What are you doing? The universe wants you to know so they can help you, but they're only going to help after you make the decision because it is your life. You have free will. You can do whatever you want. But this is the card that comes before the new chapter, the ending of one and going to the next. But the universe wants to know, what? well, where are we going? Are we going to new or are we staying where we are? Yeah. Somebody might apologize or um, try to make something right or at least, you know, apologize for their unfair treatment. Let's see what's going on for you in career and finance. Some of you, um, you might even decide to divorce or separate. Let's see. 
things are just diff different and difficult with all these swords here also the talks could be about money and status all right let's see it also could just be a trial a test of your relationship of your endurance of your commitment to right, career and finance for leo the high priestess so you got some plan that you want to unleash you have some talent you know some god-given talent that has been with you since birth and you need to foster it cultivate it maybe even get with a mentor to help um hone in on it and, and sharpen this talent here it says that the universe has been speaking to you with the high priestess in that in that small uh whisper about the changes that you should make or that this decision you should uh, make in terms of maybe even um, working for yourself because she works from home or she works for herself um she keeps track of something so maybe in your business you keep track of i don't know people uh page of wands yeah this is like um maybe a new business endeavor a promotion but definitely exploring and starting something new it's funny because the page of wands talks about uh you know doing something on your own terms uh how you want to do it um your life coming into more of a, a rhythm of uh, working how you want to work from where you want to work you know doing living life on your own terms um but you, you have to have enough courage with the page of wands to explore that and it's like the universe has been speaking to you about this but it's about you getting you you know you getting enough courage to act, yeah, actually go after the eight of wands to actually um it's like the universe is gonna align some some uh they're gonna align you know the perfect time for you to take action for you to make moves and it's, and it's gonna be on you and they're also gonna remove obstacles where you're gonna see okay maybe this is the prime time to do so but it's gonna be on you to not be so fe fearful of um and, and and don't make decisions from maybe fear and ego but move forward in knowing that this is for you okay um something maybe you post or you do something electronically yeah wow the, the magician they're gonna put, so the universe may give you an idea of how to make this really work for you of how to put all that you have into this three of cups something about communication here i don't know using the tools that you have to really make this work at first you're going to feel like you're kind of just wandering floating not knowing where you're going or this is how you feel right now in terms of your career and finance but it says that this is a spiritual journey along with one of lesson and learning um but trust the universe because you're in the right path here you, they're trying to get you out of this cyclical this cycle that you go in, starting new things, never finishing one, going to the next sick. You just, you know, they're trying to get you out of that and get you to a level of stability, of victory, triumph, success. But you have to trust. You got to trust the universe. This is what I have for you, uh, Leo. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you over in the comment section. Um, you can also go to the website, book your own reading there. Come to the live sessions every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come for the collective reading. You can also ask questions. Um, come learn the tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below, Leo. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.